Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, and if you were trying out the mod that I published last time, you noticed that Goo was absolutely broken because I forgot to undo my uh, slight experiment of setting the maximum temperature in the game to 1 million degrees. Yeah, so I fixed that, I undid that 1 million degree change, and now Grey Goo and stuff works as it should. I want to see how Grey Goo, Red Goo, and our little biology uh, stuff interacts, because I think it could be interesting. Now, there is a note. I haven't actually changed anything about the biology in this uh, video. Um, I'm planning on adding blood vessels. I'm planning on adding a, a lot of exciting things like damage and medicine and stuff, but these are things that I just have not had the time to do. So, instead we're going to play around with what we currently have, and to begin we're just going to create an organism. Uh, I got some really good ideas uh, from chat last time on how we could make a more efficient organism than what I made last time, and I agree with your uh, ideas. I think they are very good. So first things first, I'm going to make a lung. Wow, this is an awful lung. <laughs> It's not very impressive looking, I'm going to be honest. The lung the lung could use some work. But whatever, it's fine. Uh, it's going to die if I just leave it like this forever. So we're going to pause the game. Uh, so rather than having it be a vertical massive leap, we're going to have it be horizontally long. Uh, there are a lot of advantages to this, so- oh, actually, I could make the lung horizontal. There's nothing saying that the lung has to be vertical in scope. You can do this. Because moving liquids upwards is very challenging because we have to fight gravity. Going down is not gravity, it's just natural. So, like, this is much easier for the game to manage, although that wasn't very clean. And I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my headphone battery because they died. Brilliant. Look at that, Steel Series. Hot swappable batteries, isn't that brilliant? All right, so let's go ahead and make a curve down. That's uh, gonna go around like this. That's gonna go back up like this. Crazy, I know. Nobody could have expected me to be able to draw a line. Um, really setting the expectations too high this time. We're going to make these sections that go upwards quite wide uh, to give it a little bit of an easier time. Except on the way down, we'll keep it kind of thin. We don't want to use more cell tissue than we have to because the more tissue, the more oxygen requirements equals the easier for it to literally just die. And actually, there's no real reason to have this be on both sides of the law. Ah, actually, we'll, we'll do it on both sides. I just realized, you know, more oxygen better, right? <laughs> Alright, and then we just have to make a section around here that'll actually introduce it to oxygen. And around here. If the lungs aren't getting oxygen, then then what is what is the point? All right, brilliant. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and put a few things into this loop. We need a something pulling the blood through here. As as we know, this is the challenging part, bringing it back up. But the gravity should work the rest of it out. Um, and pressure should do it. So let's go ahead and fill this with... Go ahead and grab some claw. Actually, do we need... Yeah, we do. Okay, so grab some clone. We'll put some oxygen clone right here. And then we will go ahead and get plant so that it will constantly be cleaned up and turned into good old oxygen after carbon dioxide comes out. This is legitimately like the best I can do. <laughs> so hopefully it works. 
All right. Boom. Let's go ahead and do the same thing up here. Do, do, do. I mean, it's it's gonna work. I'm I'm confident. This time, I have I have went through. I have looked at the issues with the prior version of our life form, and I am confident this is good. Oh God, I forgot to uh, shoot. Um, no, it began dying because I had the game unpaused. Uh, whoops. I guess I'll just manually fix that. There's just gonna be a little bit of dead tissue throughout this thing. Yeah, see, this is this is why you don't trust me with anything. Set life lung a hunt. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted. Ah, uh, lung a hundred. Brilliant. And we'll do the same with me. Get their life back where it should be. Um, and let's go ahead. Add the oxygen. Bloop, 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 bloop. Very nice. And uh, now all I have to do is put some blood into the system. And hopefully it works. Hopefully. See, there's a lot of hope here because I cannot be certain that... Oh! Actually. Actually. I'm... I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing some success here and I'm liking it. I'm liking the taste of success. Look at that. It's going through. It's being brought back. And this is kind of the heart here. The uh, fans kind of acting as a heart. And then we have it coming around, going down, going through. The meat is uh healthy. Okay. Maybe yeah. Actually, yes. It is, uh, okay, this is dying right here. I think this might be dying right here. No, this isn't dying. This is, like, very precariously balanced because it's having trouble getting there, but I think, I think it's not going to die because as time goes on, all the meat around it is getting more and more oxygenated and is going to pass off the oxygen. Uh, I think, hopefully, I mean, the lungs are doing an excellent job. Absolutely excellent job. The issue is once the blood gets to this point in the loop, it's already taken so much carbon dioxide. Okay, so this is actually doing well. This is healed. This part is dying. This is not good. We have cell death. Um, how do I fix this? Uh, we need more blood to, like, touch this wall. Maybe if we put like a fan here that like blows against it. There we go, like that. Uh, that, that's doing it. I mean, we do have like a hole in the vessel. Whoops. There we go. Okay. We have actually made a stable and um, generally healthy organism here. It's working, as it should. You may be shocked. You may be thinking, I didn't think Spike would ever be able to do something impressive in his life, but no. Look at this. I managed to make something work within my own mod. So now we're going to save this as simple working life form, um, also known as the Cheerio life form, because it's literally just a no. And let's go ahead and see what happens. This is a library, yeah. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we introduce some things. First off, I'm curious if we hit it with a virus, like a uh, normal powder toy virus. How much damage? Like, if it goes into the blood, yeah, so it converts everything to virus, right? But, like, if I put soap back on it, will it come back? Will it survive? The world may never know. Uh oh, no, there is certainly damage. There is certainly damage. Ooh. Interesting. I don't know why that broke right here. 
Oh, yikes. That, uh, that did a lot of damage. So we can actually plug this hole in the blood vessel. Uh, but there was certainly blood loss. And, uh... I guess, I guess it'll get back on its feet. I mean... It doesn't look like there's any permanent damage other than the fact that that one part broke. Interesting. But there's just soap in the bloodstream. So yeah, that was fine. Oh, this broke over here as well. Got another hole. There we go. Hmm, interesting. So let's go ahead and try this out with goo. I, I already know what's gonna happen. It's going to be quite brutal. We'll go frame by frame. I'll drop it on the, uh... Oh, shoot. Man, it took about two seconds. Oh boy, yeah, no. Grey goo just immediately erodes through and eats the entire damn thing. Hmm. Um, there's other things we can try too, like for example, uh, bombs. Ooh. Well, I guess I guess the uh, it didn't it didn't hit the life form, but it did take out the oxygen from half of the lung. Can it still survive on half a lung of oxygen? That's a good question. Question of the day. <laughs> oh, there's the, the hole broken here again. I guess that part must have been dying from something. Was it really? No, the life is quite high on it. What? No, it isn't. Huh, why is it dying? Oh, I guess the blood at that point just isn't able to pick up any more CO2. Wow, at the very end. Interesting. But yeah, high explosives, I'm going to assume, are able... Yeah, they're able to do quite a bit of damage. Um, although, considering heat and stuff doesn't kill the, the biology stuff yet... It's really less damage than you would expect. Um, you can even... I think you can just toss Thermite onto it and it'll survive. I mean, this is some pretty strong biology. Yeah. Yep. She's Thermite proof, alright. I need to make it so that it affects, like, the, uh, the physics of the blood when it gets hot and cold like that. Oh! Oh, I mean, it's gonna run out of oxygen now because it's all on fire. Um. Oh, actually, it would appear we have a leak. No! Something I do know uh, affects the biology stuff right now is neutrons. So if there was a uh, nuclear blast far away and neutrons came out and hit it, it will actually kind of shred and mess up uh, the meat and even the lungs. So as you can see, this is really messed up. Um, uh, there's a bleeding, there's, there's certainly... I mean, this isn't even like connected together anymore, so there's no way for it to get... Oh, I guess it's just barely evil. Oh no, this one's good. No, I guess it is! Interesting. I'm surprised. So it's not, it's not dead, it actually did survive that, although all the blood has drained into there, so I'm just gonna poke a hole. <laughs> I'm gonna do a minor surgery. It may not be enough though. Yeah, I think this thing's about to die now, just from that neutron blast. Um, there's a lot of blood leaking. Too much. The blood down here has way too much carbon dioxide. It's not able to pick it up, and the stuff over here is just going to start dying. Granted, it may take longer than expected. I mean, it's, it's putting up a fight. It is putting up more of a fight than I had anticipated, but it's certainly not... It's not going to make it forever. Or maybe it will. Jeez. Oh, this is dying. Yeah, the, the amount of blood it's losing is just too much. You, you can just... I mean, literally like half of the blood that goes through the system is being thrown out of here. Granted, we could make an attempt to just plug that. Boom. Um, but I'm not, I'm not too convinced that it'll survive anyways. <laughs> I mean, there's some oxygenated blood. Oh, this, this is really a mess. This is a really large mess. 
would blood get into here? Well, that's a good question. I'm, I'm surprised that any of this is still alive, honestly. Uh, I, I thought that the entire thing would have fallen apart by now. Incredible. Incredible what life can do. Or at least simulated life. Oh, over here it's about to start falling apart. Here it goes. Here comes cell death. Yep, you can see one piece at a time is falling apart. Now this blood vessel is literally just opening up. That's rough. Oh, there's a gap that just opened up here too. Yeah, I think at this point it's safe to say uh, this thing is basically dead. I mean, it's it's on its last leg, at least. Granted, we could try to uh, continue its life by just using like titanium and trying to just shunt the artery. Wait, that's not the correct usage. Whatever, we're just we're gonna rebuild the wall of the artery using using titanium and just pump new blood in. I'm sure that this will save it. Will save the day. More blood, less problems, am I right? Actually, it is kind of recycling it and getting it through the lungs, so this this may actually survive. Um, I was being sarcastic before, but it, it, it does actually have the potential to survive. Slight potential. This hodgepodge mess of what could only be described as a Frankenstein monster is uh, actually managing pretty well. Pretty well, in fact. Even though, I mean, the, what, what, <laughs> everything's just leaking. Great, we kept it alive! Brilliant, what next? <laughs> I mean, if, if it survived, I guess we have to hit it with another neutron blast and see if it survives again. Ah, science. <laughs> Oh, the titanium actually reflected it. Gosh darn it, I accidentally made it... Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, yeah, no. That's game over. It was nice while it lasted. There's only so much radiation that it can survive. And uh, we, we have certainly reached that point. So yeah, we... Th that's fun. I think the radiation thing is neat and... Um, adds a little bit but we're going to go ahead and add heat and cold and all the other effects next time and i hope to see you all there so peace out thank you for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed i'll see you all next time wow thank you for watching apologies for charlotte in the background she's mad at me but i'll let you know that I won't be mad at you if you slap that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, in the comments, let me know what you want to see next. Wow, this dog. She's really going off. Well, uh, see you next time. Peace out. End credits, gang. Love you all.